Hey, everybody. This is Elliot Morgan. Hi, thank you for having me. Hey, DJ. Hey, how's it going? Good Happy 2014. You. Oh, thanks, man. Happy it's new. To you. It's yeah. new. It's still got that new car smell on it. All right. Yep. I'm DJ Wooldridge, and we're actually here to discuss community. Yeah. Because yeah. it's back. Uh, I've gotten a lot of tweets and uh, t Tumblr inbox things and other internet ways of communications uh, asking me to, to talk about it, and I haven't. All those things that people ask you for, nobody asked me about, but I have opinions anyway. Yeah, well, we and talked like about it. And we share. talked about it. We talked a little yeah. bit about it. Uh, and, but I'm excited to hear what you think because you are an avid community fan. Yeah, I, I would say I'm an, an avid fan of the show. I don't know what it is about it exactly. I think. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the combination of the different types of comedy that the show uses. Yeah. Uh, and I'm a big fan of that, uh, especially as somebody like enjoys various kinds. So mm -hmm. I don't know, you you watched it since the beginning. Yeah, yeah I've been a big fan. I For me, I watched the pilot episode and I was like, meh. And I left it and then I came back uh, for the paintball episode. And when I oh, saw really? the paintball episode of the first season, I was like, well, I'm in. It's, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. in forever. And I, I like, for me, I think what brings me back is obviously the mix of characters, mm -hmm. but also that, that uh, loving embrace of sappy and cynical. I think what works with community is you never know. Like you never know if you're gonna get hit with something that's kind of a sincere thought or a poignant thought from Jeff Winger's character yeah. or Joe McHale's character, Jeff Winger. Yeah. Um, but if you don't get hit with a sincere moment, it can be like 10 times funnier than what it would normally be. Absolutely. So I think Absolutely. that's how come I like shows like Community and Scrubs, Scrubs more so than like Arrested Development, which I know people love. Yeah. And it's fantastic from like a writing perspective, but I don't love it. Yeah. So, anyway, so uh, Dan Harmon leaves in season. Uh, At the end of season three. End of season three. It becomes a show that's based in like the drama surrounding it. Yeah. Um, uh, people almost know it more because of all the mm -hmm. production snafus than right. the actual show. With season four, I feel like the biggest problem with it was that it was kind of boring. Like, I think mm -hmm. uh, it, even when it was not bad. Yeah. It was just kind of like, all right. It yeah. just became TV. And yeah. that's like the last thing you want community to be. It's yeah. just another. It's just another TV show. Right. So, thoughts on the repilot? The repilot? Yeah. Uh, you know, I liked that it was a re. I, I liked that it was yeah. a redo. Totally. I liked the. Um, it, there was points where I was a little worried to be a little too in jokey when they were commenting on Troy mm -hmm. leaving totally, and, yep. and the, the uh, gas leak year. But I think one of my favorite moments, and I thought this was great, because I mean, Dan Harmon got a lot of flack for, at first he was like, I'm never gonna watch season four. And then he got hired back and he's like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna watch it, but I'm not gonna say anything. And then he said a lot of things. Yeah. And then he had to be like, I'm sorry. He said some really terrible things. Though. Yeah, about it, which I get, but uh, it was the only problem because he said, hey, I'm not gonna crap on these people. He was trying to be nice and mm -hmm. then, uh, but anyway, I, so I really, really liked, there's a scene where Jeff Winger, uh, they were talking about how weird they've gotten over since the beginning. Yeah. And, uh, and he was like, well, there was that gas leak here. And he's like, don't blame it all on the gas leak here. Yep. This has been happening for a long time. And so I kind of like that. You make fun of the year that you weren't a part of it and you let that go. But then you also say, but yep. we're responsible it as was well. So, you're right, he was so clearly uh, talking through the script, which is something that I, I think is always like fun as like a teenager. Yeah, and so perfect um, for community. Sports Night was a show created by Aaron Sorkin like five, 10 years ago, 10, no. 15 years ago or something like that. And it was an amazing show and it was very similar to like The West Wing, but it wasn't popular. And they did it that at the end of the first season of uh, Sports Night, the casters were like, look, if you can't make money on Sports Night, you shouldn't be in the money making business. And it was one of those like jabs toward the executives. But I know Dan Harmon has done speeches where he said, uh, like, well, actually it got off the rails. I got too far into my head. I got too far planning ahead. I, I know where these characters are going. Um, and I think that's how come, in my opinion, season three suffered a little bit because he got so uh, into it that it lost the ability to have one singular good episode. Well, I remember when um, I was reading some commentary on it, the critic talked a lot about how uh, season two of Community was about sitcoms, was deconstructing sitcom tropes, which season two is also the one where we had Abed deliver a baby in the background, like a whole arc of him delivering a baby that was, that was never in front of the camera. Like you just, in the background, you just see him going through the steps. Um, whereas season three was a commentary on season two of Community. Really? It was actually about Community and what they were trying to do. So it, so it makes sense. The other line that I think was one of the best in the show was the, uh, that was Seth Rock referential, was Donald Glover's, uh, when they were talking about Zach Braff only mm -hmm. being in the first nine episodes of- That's still a little- Yeah. <laughs> After all the scrubs is done yep. for? <laughs> that, was, that was the moment where I was like, in, I'm yeah. back. All I'm, right, this it's is perfect. on board. I also like uh, the, the I, for me, my in was like, Listen, you can take all this stuff, but oh, I still I have it. one yep. thing that's all, and then they take the whiskey away from him, and he's yeah. like, that was it, that was the that last was thing. That was, that was, that was, that was 
that's what I had. So what about you? Like, what what did you think about Repilot? Repilot, I loved. I thought uh, I didn't like it as much as the second episode, which we'll get to in a second. But um, it, it was funny because you expect when you're watching something like this and you hear, you know, all the drama around it, and you want the show to be successful. I like all the actors that are in it. Um, it's weird to not to watch it and like legitimately view it as a repilot and legitimately view it as like, all right, they're starting a new story over. Yeah. Uh, especially with the departure of Chevy Chase and everything. Yeah. But when I like got into that mind frame, I loved it. Like, and I really yeah. appreciated it. And I do feel like I'm seeing these characters from a place where they can grow from, not necessarily a place where um, other shows like Parenthood, off the top of my head, where they're like having to recreate problems for characters. Yeah. Like, this is very much a new beginning, which I think starting is cool. over. Yeah. Which, uh, which they got into that new beginning even more. I, I think it was very smart of them to not just have repilot, but also have yeah. the episode right after sure. to, to see what it's going to be like moving forward mm -hmm. and sell us on Jeff as a teacher. Yeah. Uh, which I really liked Annie being in his class, the kind of coaching him on how he should be a better teacher. And uh, and you get a feel of like this is where the show's going for the season, and it's like yeah, I feel yeah. good. I feel good about Absolutely. this. Absolutely, I like it a lot. Yeah, and the second episode, they find out minus grades are totally fake, made up or fake. Uh, and are just based on whether or not the teacher likes the student. And of yeah. course, it's a very community style riot where yeah. and there's that wonderful shot of magnitude throwing the chair through the window and then going pop pop pop. pop. And and I also, got way too excited when I saw that. It happen. was it was a perfect payoff because the episode before, like Troy's like, it just doesn't feel right. Don't you miss <laughs> magnitude? And it was a line because Chevy Chase Turning is in Chevy there. Chase, and Chase, then, Chase, so you're like, yeah. oh, I do actually miss magnitude. And then he throws a trash can through the thing, and it's this yeah. pop pop. It's like, yes, it's back. Uh, and I also thought that was a great, like, Andy starts, or, Andy's the one that starts right because she finds out minus grades yep. aren't a thing, which are is completely fake. To her and career. of course, the person that reveals that is uh, Jonathan Banks, mm -hmm. who's basically replacing Chevy Chase as the old man role. And perfectly. continuing his role from Breaking Bad. Exactly. 100%. It's pretty much Mike, which is great because I missed Mike a yeah. lot. It's so weird, like it's, it's uh, he, there's this moment too, because at first he sits down with the study group or whatever to form this like teacher student thing, which is really yeah. cool. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. super interesting as a, a, like a plot device. But then you see this guy sit down where Chevy Chase used to sit and it's like, oh, is he gonna be like, because he's kind of a gruff character, is like, no. is he gonna be make, like basically being the Pierce character? Totally different character. No. And Way they establish that because Troy turns to him and he's like, are you the coolest person ever? <laughs> After he says whatever it is. Yeah, and, John, and Jonathan Banks is like, probably not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, or and I doubt it. He says I doubt it, I doubt which is the perfect really Jonathan Banks of where like he's like he just doesn't care. Yep. He's just he's just over it. Whatever it is you've got going on, it's over it. And of course that leads into the the uh, last scene where uh, Troy oh, and Abed boy, boy. are disguised in his office. Which are they trying to pull a prank on Jeff? Or on, I think they are. Yeah, yeah, it's on Jeff. And then Jonathan Banks comes in <laughs> and he has the most heart wrenching conversations with people. Well, he's just as a chair. That actually, uh, I was like. I'll watch the show and I'll laugh at it and it'll warm my heart. I'm like, I love the show. Yeah. But that was the the first moment that I was completely 100% sucked into it and like like uncontrollably laughed. Yeah, yeah. It's so dark. Do you think because they're doing the teacher student thing that we're because I know John Oliver's coming back this season and um, obviously Chang is still mm -hmm. around. Do you think they're going to be sucked into that that union as well? As, as part of the faculty? I don't know. No. I hope not. I mean, I like I like the round table dynamic. I yeah. like seeing that many people it cutting to that person because you feel like you're at, at the table. The moment I think, I always hesitate whenever Chang comes in, he's actually probably my least favorite character on yeah. the show. I think he works in small doses. Right, yeah. very small. Yeah. The, the mat, when his intro with the, the house arrest thing yeah. where he walks off, that's great. Um, also, when he was living in the rafters, I feel like his his arc really ended when he took over the school in season. Mm -hmm. Like that was that was the perfect end to his character, really, yeah. you know? But I like this new kind of fun loving one with the, the faculty room or whatever yeah. and the martinis and all that. Yeah. You didn't like Nicolas Cage, right? The, yeah, the, the Nicolas Cage, I kind of like the joke, but I feel like it went too far and a little bit too long with Abed like mm -hmm. losing it. It felt like too much for me. I think that's so, and then, but then you love the, the front or the Italian, yeah, the was it a Fr the French? Was it French or Italian? French, the, the, I was thinking about Excel. It was all yeah, about learning the Excel, Excel program. And a French like, singer seeing his <laughs> thoughts, and it's subtitled for no reason. And it's so funny that like that you love that part because I loved it too, and I had no idea why. That's yeah. another reason I like the show because I'll watch it and I'll be like, oh, like I have no idea. I can't pinpoint what's funny about that. Well, and it's really funny cool. because I think when you look at season four, and I mean, season four was the weakest season, but it still wasn't necessarily 
awful. No. It just, but I feel like part of it was you could look at Community and be like, oh, it's just a bunch of weird things thrown together. But it works. Like, if mm -hmm. you watch these last two episodes, it all feels cohesive. It all feels like it should be yep. there. Whereas in season four, it felt like, how many weird things can we throw in yep. here? So it feels like Community. And uh, hopefully there's no more Darkest Timeline talk. I'm, I'm, Remedial yeah, Chaos Theory I was the was best episode. That, and they should have left that. I will say, I was pretty much okay with season four. Like, mm -hmm. it was whatever. And then that last episode was like, I kind of hope Community doesn't come back. Yeah. Because uh, that was it was, it was a it was, tragic it ending. It was awful. Mm -hmm. It was awful. Uh, it was just really bad. And uh, nope. now it is back, and it's like, well, now I'm kind of glad we can. Yeah. I'll blame it on the uh, gas leak here. Totally. I wonder if that's when Dan Harmon was watching. He's like, this was like this. This is where the rape happened. Like yeah. he's okay with it <laughs> yeah. until that last one. What he's was like, that nope, he's like, I'm done. <gasps> this was it. Yeah, it was so so uh, anticlimactic. But this new stuff is really good. It's really rad. It comes back uh, this Thursday. They're having new episodes every Thursday. Until the Olympics. Until the Olympics. And then they'll be back Because after. it ruins everything. If you guys haven't seen the show, go watch it. Seriously. Please do. And then uh, click like and subscribe and leave in comments below. Uh, leave in comments below what you think about it. And mm -hmm. then we'll be down there and we'll chat and we'll talk and yeah. it'll be fun. And we might do this again at the end of the season and see and see where we think yeah. it. Well, I'm mm -hmm. doing it by myself in my head yeah. every, every day. week. Every week. And also, please, yeah, please watch it uh, when it airs because that's what NBC cares about. Just watch I, it for us so we can continue to watch, watch it. it. Leave and your TV please on. Please do. Six seasons of the movie, please. You can click these things beneath us that are linked to other videos. Um, you can catch this guy on SourceFed yeah. stuff. Uh, you can catch me. Literally. You while can he's catch out me. and about. Yeah. I'll cool. text you my location. You can throw a net over me. All right. Whatever. That's it. Please watch Community. Thank you for joining us. Be safe. Yeah. We love you. Oh, that's fine. That's Thanks, job. man. I enjoyed, that. I enjoyed doing that with you. Is it still rolling? We're not going to do anything now. No, there's nothing. No. The magic Let's is stop. over. Yep. What do you think is going to happen in the next episode? You know there's spoilers all over the community subreddit? Why? Why are there spoilers for yeah. community? Why? Of all things. Yeah. It's not like there needs to be some grand <laughs> tale. <laughs> yeah, just, just go in and watch it. It's a situational <laughs> comedy. No. Because it depends on the situation. No, yeah, sitcom. You're waiting for something gold here. Oh, and it's not coming. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <sighs> I like your shoes, by the way. Thanks, man. These, uh, my wife got me these for Christmas, as long mm. with these socks. You Some have might say, beautiful socks. Thanks, dude. Here's I the problem with your that. socks, though. You actually have to match them. Mm -hmm. Mine are just black. I can literally throw them oh, in any sock I own. Yeah. And then I have a lot of single color shirts. So yeah. that I don't have to, you know. I did that too, because back in the day, uh, FHP used to give us shirts. Oh, they used to, that's that how they felt. Nice. No. I had to eat the shirts. No. No, not anymore. Oh, you starve. You yep. starve. You gotta keep a girl's figure, I guess. No. Yeah. No. Owen. This is weird, because we still know we're like on camera. Owen we still know it's rolling. <laughs> Very obvious. <laughs> if we get up and leave, is that yeah. the... Yeah. You're not trapped there. <laughs>